What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out female WWE wrestlers who could destroy you in a real fight. There are some women uh, in WWE that legit got them hands, and they could legit probably kick your ass. <laughs> um, most noticeable, noticeable one is uh, Ronda Rousey. She definitely got the hands for days. Hands, feet, elbows doesn't matter. If Ronda wants to take you out. And we're not talking about dinner. She wants to take you out the equation. She definitely can. Another person notable uh, is uh, Shayna Baszler. She definitely got the hands, feet, elbows, all that for days. Anyone that's formerly trained in MMA could definitely probably put the beats on you. Hell, I think Oscar could probably put the beats on a lot of us, man, if she really needed to. But I think some of y'all would like for y'all to get some beats from Oscar and some of these ladies. So uh, let's check this video out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one. It should be good. Well, WWE wrestlers don't actually fight each other. They still have to be strong to do what they do. Many people know that wrestlers like Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle could destroy just about anyone if they really wanted to. Mm -hmm. However, there are plenty of female WWE wrestlers who could do the same, like Lacey Evans. The lady of WWE is a United States veteran, mm. serving in the Marines for five years. During her tenure, Evans was a member of the Special Reaction Team. Oh, the wow. SRT is a SWAT team that gets called in for incidents that are too high risk for regular law oh, enforcement so Tactically trained. So they handle some serious stuff. Lacey Evans was trained to do this, so there's no doubt that she'd be able to handle herself in a real fight. Oh yeah, she's tactically trained. Not only could she probably take you down, she can efficiently take you down with weaponry. That's that's a different that's a different ball game there. Not only that, but she would probably win. So best not to pick a fight with the sassy Southern Belle. Before WWE, Sonya Deville spent time inside the cage. And I heard I I found I recently just found this out, so I didn't even know that. I was like, wait. Why they're not using Sonya Deville in more of that MMA style of background? As an MMA fighter, Deville began training in mixed martial arts at the age of 16. At 21 years old, Sonya Deville had her first fight and won by submission. She then won her second fight even faster by TKO. Damn. While Deville did lose her third MMA bout, she still put up a good effort. Not long after her MMA career started, Sonya Deville joined WWE. While she doesn't compete in MMA anymore, Deville is a force to be reckoned with and someone you would not want to fight in real life you might not expect that's crazy man because they don't really treat her as serious as she should be when i found that she has mma back an mma background but like, why they're not utilizing that i think she would come off better as somebody that could legit go toe to toe with you but three-time divas champion eve torres is one of the toughest female wwe wrestlers mm. in real life she started learning jiu-jitsu when she was part of wwe for her own self-defense Fans oh, wow. even saw her use some of the moves she learned in the ring. She's continued to train, and after leaving WWE, Eve Torres began teaching her own self-defense class. Oh, wow. The former WWE wrestler also shares self-defense tips on her social media accounts, which show exactly why she could take on just about anyone in a real fight. Wow. If you're ever going through a dark alley at night, you'd probably want to have Eve Torres by your side. That's impressive. Not That's only does cool. Shayna Baszler look tough, oh. but she could also back it up. Bas when a person barely has any eyebrows, Leave them motherfuckers alone. <laughs> she began a lengthy MMA career when she was 23 years old and won her first fight by submission in the opening round. The Queen of Spades racked up a number of wins, her biggest one being when she defeated former UFC title challenger Alexis Davis. Sheena Baszler's success in the cage earned her a spot as one of the four horsewomen of MMA. Mm. In total, Baszler won 15 of her 26 MMA fights and even made it to the UFC. While Sheena Baszler has retired from the octagon, she is still one of the most dangerous women she in has history. Eyebrows, she is bro. called the baddest woman on the planet Knew and for Ronda good reason. Be Before WWE, Ronda Rousey made her name by being an undefeated MMA fighter and winning her fights in incredibly short amounts of time. Yeah. She was the first female champion in UFC history and held the bantamweight championship for almost three years. She then brought this momentum to WWE and she became one of the company's kick biggest ass, female bro. stars in a short amount of time. Some will argue that Rousey isn't as good of a fighter as the media hyped her up to be. That's up for debate, but what isn't is the fact that Ronda Rousey competed at the 2008 mm -hmm. Olympic Games and won a bronze medal in judo. Say what you will about Rousey, but you would not want to be in a fight nope. with this woman. Now you might be wondering, did any of these wrestlers make the list for top 10 scariest WWE women? Yeah, nah, bro. I'm good on it, bro. Like, I'm I'm so good on on trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody that has MMA background. 
I, I, I leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? I know some people wanted to make the joke recently with CM Punk. Oh, nobody got to worry about CM Punk in the back. It's, he lost in, in the UFC. He trained for months. Anybody that trained in MMA background, doesn't matter what style or form, you obviously learned something that you're out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't mess with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just leave it alone, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, hey, Rhonda, I ain't, I ain't got no beef with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, 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 Rhonda, Rhonda, chill. <laughs> oh, man, I'll be quick, quick to put on the jets you got to catch me Rhonda, because you ain't about to put me in the arm bar but yeah man this was a cool video it, it definitely it definitely highlighted some of the 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 bad the bad tough women in mma and uh it, it was really interesting to learn about lacey evans i know she served but i didn't know she was that tactically proficient didn't know what a part of the military she did serve though so that was pretty interesting and pretty much everyone else that i uh i saw in this list they pretty much had some type of formal mma background hell even eve tour i didn't know she was doing that after wwe so shout out to her man that that is awesome you know definitely for all the ladies out there you know you want to at least be able to protect yourself because the world is getting crazier and guys are doing a lot of weird shit so hey if you're able to to learn some moves to protect yourself or you become professionally uh, or proficient with some firearms i say go for it you know what i'm saying but comment down below let me know which one of you guys out there think y'all could go toe to toe with some of these women out there be honest be honest which one of y'all think y'all could go if if it was push come to shove it was a mix uh martial arts like mixed match which one of these women these ladies would y'all be like you know what i'd hop in the octagon with and i think i'd do okay with <laughs> let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace